Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm finally sharing something I've wanted to talk about for a while, which is my Cowles vertical milling machine. This is the earlier Mark 1 model with the rounded top casting and I've got to say I really like it. If you've seen my other builds, you'll already know I use Cowles machines quite regularly. I've got the CW90 watchmaker's lathe and also the ME90. Uh, and these have been permanent fixtures in the workshop for quite a few years now. They've served me really well for both fine work, uh, clock making, uh, various other projects. So when the opportunity came up to get the matching mill, I didn't hesitate. Like I said, this one's the Mark 1, and while it's technically the older version, I actually personally prefer it visually. I just love the rounded top casting, it's got a bit more character to it than the newer, slightly squarer Mark 2 version. But of course, if I had the budget and found a new one at the right time, I would have happily gone for the Mark 2. They're beautifully made, uh, but the Mark 1 is in near mint condition. The bed has no damage, it's super heavy for the size, and is incredibly rigid. It feels really like a serious piece of kit. Just quickly before we get into the details, I never usually ask for like or subscribe, but if you do enjoy this kind of content or find it helpful, please hit the like button, it really does help the channel. No pressure at all, just a quiet nudge. So let's get into the machine. The first thing that strikes you about the Cowles Mill is the build quality. It's compact but incredibly solid. Everything's made from cast iron or precision made steel uh, and finished to a really high standard. Uh, the spindle runs in high precision bearings and the whole setup feels incredibly tight and smooth. As far as I'm aware, Cowles use their own proprietary system for the spindle. Uh, they have their own collet, so not generic system like the ER16. And the spindle has an internal Morse taper and the collets directly pull up into the spindle using a drawbar. You get both metric and imperial collets from Cowles and they cover most of what model engineer or clockmaker would need and they're beautifully made too. Uh, you do sacrifice the convenience of the clicking ER system, but you gain in precision and stability which I suppose is what this machine is all about. The table is about 6 inches by 4 inches, which is a generous size for a really small mill, and you get about 110 millimetres of travel on the x-axis and 80 millimetres on the y, and about 90 millimetres in the vertical. Uh, everything moves really smoothly, hand wheels have a satisfying feel to them, they're not slack, not loose, and there's very little backlash, which is really impressive, uh, especially considering the age of this particular machine, and it really is a testament to how well it was built and I suspect it well how well it's been uh, looked after. Head is moved up and down on a rack and pinion system and there's a fine feel, feed hand wheel for precise control. Now there is no quilt and I'll admit that that's one feature I do occasionally miss especially when you're doing something like drilling or pet drilling small holes where a quilt would really speed things up but the omission is intentional I presume and Cowles has kept things simple and solid to prioritise rigidity and accuracy and when you start to use it you can see why it's designed for slow deliberate high precision work not high speed production milling. Uh, something I really appreciate is how quietly the mill runs. Uh, the belt drive system is smooth and nearly silent, and the spindle just hum hums along. Uh, no vibrations, no noise, just a calm, controlled machine that feels really lovely to work with. There's a good number of accessories available too. I've already managed to pick up a few of them, um, and I've got my eye currently on some of the gear cutting arbors as well. Uh, Cowles makes their accessories to the same standard as the machine themselves, so they slot in perfectly and allow you to do some real intricate and accurate work. For me, this machine fits perfectly into the way I work. It's not trying to hog out big slabs of steel. You know, I'm making pinions and wheels and other clock parts uh, that need to be consistent and finely finished. And this mill is ideal for that kind of work. Uh, it doesn't fight you, it works with you. I think that's what I like most about it. It's not about bells and whistles, it's not flashy, but it does what it does very, very well. You know, and it is a serious machine for such a small scale, you know, high precision jobs, and it suits the kind of projects I take on perfectly. So that's the Cowles Vertical Milling Machine Mark 1. I've been using it regularly in upcoming videos, including on the Tikip Regulator Clock Build. So if you're interested in seeing it in action, stay tuned. And if you've got any questions or thoughts about the machine, or if you own a Cowles yourself, I'd really love to hear from you in the comments. So thanks as always for watching, and if you do find this useful or just enjoy the videos, uh, a like is genuinely appreciated. See you next time.